Hello everybody, welcome to TechLore. Today I'm gonna make an updated version of my old Tor browser tutorial, showing you how to make Tor as secure as we possibly can. A couple disclaimers. One, this tutorial is made using the Tor browser bundle version 7.5 on February 2nd, 2018. Things may change in the future, so make sure to read the pinned comment under this video because I will update it with any important information if needed. Two, Tor doesn't make you fully anonymous, but today we're gonna try to get as close as we can to it. Before we dive into the browser itself, let's talk about things you should do before working inside of Tor. One, do not use Windows. It's the least secure operating system and just bad news for Tor usage. I'm using it for the purposes of this video since Creative Cloud doesn't exist for Linux. Make sure everything on your computer is up to date, especially Tor itself. Make sure your hard drive is encrypted so people can't access any leftover data from your Tor sessions. Tor should be separate from your actual identity. Use only pseudonyms inside of Tor. You guys should sit down for about 10 minutes and create a whole new name, address, and identity. It's fun and it's good for your security. Moving to their list, never torrent over the Tor network. It slows down the entire network and it's not secure for you either. Use a VPN for torrenting. Do not install any plugins that don't come as a default. So only use no script, HTTPS everywhere, and the two Tor plugins. If possible, never download anything to your computer because you don't really know what's in the downloaded file. And finally, use common sense guys. Don't do anything that's going to get you into trouble. That's not what Tor was created for. Nah, nah. Okay, let's dive into the actual program. First thing you want to do is click here to test network settings to make sure you're successfully connected to the Tor network. That is a beautiful start. Next, let's click the onion on the top left, go to security settings and set it all the way up. Keep in mind this will significantly slow down your browsing experience, but we are going for max security here. Lots of websites will not fully load scripts, images, and videos, but it's in the interest of your security. Now let's make sure your script blocker is fully enabled globally, so scripts will be blocked on all websites. You should see the red symbol over the S. If not, you will see an option in here to globally block scripts. Let's go dive into some of the options. Go to search, and I'd recommend disabling everything except DuckDuckGo, Disconnect, and Start Page for the one-click search engines. And your default should be one of those three. They are the most private and secure search engines, which come as a default for Tor. Under content, pop-ups should be blocked by default, which is perfect. And under privacy, all of this I have listed is perfect, but I would recommend changing this to never remember history. In security, here are all of the settings you wanna leave enabled. Make sure that you do not save your logins within Tor browser. And quite honestly, you should not be logging into any account while using Tor. I'd highly discourage you from setting up a Firefox account and syncing anything. This is a giant red flag, stay away from it. And the very last setting, which is in advanced under update, is to automatically install Tor updates to make sure you're always using the most updated version of Tor browser. A few little more tips when using Tor browser is to not save any bookmarks, avoid saving pages from the browser, and never fully maximize the browser. It's recommended to manually increase the size of the browser window, like so, to fill a majority of your screen. Last but not least, one very controversial area with Tor and why I haven't mentioned it yet is whether or not to combine a VPN with a Tor connection. I'm going to link you guys to this Reddit post in the description because they summarize the subject extremely well. It's not a simple yes or no answer. If you do end up deciding to use a VPN, make sure to pick a VPN with good security. I do tons of VPN reviews on my channel where I in-depth cover VPNs, so make sure to check those out in the description if you are interested. That's going to wrap up the video everybody if you have any questions or tips on using tor make sure to leave a comment below please be nice to each other don't forget to follow me at techlemur on social media and that is all i have to say thank you so much for watching and have a freaking lemurricious day